Hi, today I'm going to be sharing with you my February 2015 favorites. Starting off with two makeup brushes. These are from e.l.f.'s $1 Essentials line. I got these in a pack that came free with one of my orders actually, so I didn't use them for like a year and I just, just discovered them. They are so great. The bronzer brush, I don't think it looks like this anymore. The bristles are now the same brown as these ones, but regardless, this is so great. It's the perfect size to kind of contour, apply blush, apply your highlight. It's not the softest brush and that's what I like about it because it blends so well and it picks up powder nicely. It's my favorite go-to multitasker brush. Use it every single day. This is like the mini version for your eyes. It gets right into the crease and then you can blend out shades. Um, you know, when you turn it on its side, so great. Try them out. I think this one's sold out, which is understandable because it's my like the best brush for um, getting right into your crease and doing any kind of defining eye work. So check those out if you're making a purchase on e.l.f. It, you know, those are so worth the one dollar. <laughs> So then for nails, we have my go-to base coat, Matte Nail Envy from OPI. I've tried them all. Orly Bonder, you have the, um, all like the classics. We have the nail foundation from Butter London. I've tried them all. This is the best. Um, I like the matte one because I find colors adhere to it better, but it strengthens my, my nails like none other. Then on top of my polish, I always use the Out The Door Top Coat. I like it so much that I bought the gigantic size. My sister picked it up for me at the beauty supply shop. It's great. It's not too expensive. It's hard to find though, so look at a beauty supply store, but it's number one for a reason in America. But I have both of them, you know, on, under, and over my polish right now, and I think I'm on like day five and my nails haven't chipped. So tried and tested. I love those. So for makeup remover, the L'Occitane Immortel oil free, or sorry, oil makeup remover. This stuff rocks. I've tried oil makeup removers before, but they would seep into my eyes and though they worked, it just wasn't the most appealing process. But for some reason, this one works so much better than the ones I've tried in the past. And it also smells like heaven. The Immortal Flower is really, uh, really beneficial for the skin, the oil from it. But all you do, you get one pump, rub it between your hands, rub it on a dry face of makeup. It dissolves everything and then you rinse it off and it's like it becomes a milky texture. So milky consistency and everything just washes right off. It's magic. And it's so... Like, it's not irritating, it almost calms your skin when you re uh, remove your makeup with an oil. And I love this one because it's not, like, if you use coconut oil, which lots of people like to do to remove your makeup, it's so hard to get off because it does not, like, emulsify like these ones do. So check it out. It is a bit pricey, but I think this stuff is worth it. Another Luxutan product for March 8th, I think this will be available. Maybe it is now, I'm not too sure. But this is the Apricot Balm, and it is their um, kind of charity balm. The profits are donated to uh, women in Burkina Faso working to um, become entrepreneurs. So it's just a really nice foundation that they have. It's a shea butter balm. It smells like an orange creamsicle. You can use it on your nails, your lips, your hands, um, you know, the ends of your hair, whatever needs a bit of conditioning. This is great. I can smell smell this scent right now. It's so nice. And it's a big size for $6. This is a really, really great deal. And it supports a nice cause. So next up, we have a uh, pricier product. It is the Amore Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peel. I love this stuff. I was so surprised. I think I'm down to like here. I've had this for probably a year now, and I've used it a ton. It's I think $78 seems crazy, but it's practically full. It's going to last me forever. And what's awesome about it is that it is a powder, so it's not going to expire, at least not very soon. And um, it has like this fancy sifter so that when you pour it out, only like the amount you need comes out and then it stops. I don't know, it's magic. But I apply it onto my Clarisonic Luxe brush head, and then I use it. It's like a minute. You massage it onto your face, 
it is the best chemical exfoliant like treatment that you can do it's so great your skin is like radiant it brightens um, like these botanical enzymes will remove all of your dryness and it's just really gentle if you have any like open skin scars or scabs um, it will sting a bit so be careful but I love it it's so great for sensitive skin it's amazing so if you need to invest invest in that um, okay so next we have my cleanser that I'm using on the daily the at night actually my aquamarina cleanser from Lush this is so so cool it looks probably pretty gross it has like calamine lotion and um, seaweed in it it is the best scent for the shower it smells like the ocean and um, it pretty much has just like calming like ingredients that my skin it's like calming and cleansing so there's calamine kaolin clay glycerin which is moisturizing and then aloe and then you have like some um, algae orange peel oil so some like acids in there to really clean but I use this with my Clarisonic also so two days a week I'll use this and then the rest of the days I'll use this I just like rub my brush in there use it as my cleanser whenever I use this my skin is so happy like it just loves this you have to remove the makeup with this because this does not remove your makeup beware this first then makeup or sorry then your aquamarina and your skin will love you. It's so calming, so nice. Really nice for the winter because it's a bit moisturizing. Last but not least, we have Let the Good Times Roll, another Lush cleanser. This one, like, it smells so good, I could eat it. I have not tried it, but it would probably taste good too. <laughs> it's made with um, what, popcorn, like corn, like, I don't know, it's probably the best smelling thing ever. It smells like, like, um, what's it called, like a caramel popcorn mixed with like vanilla ice cream. Go into Lush, smell this, you'll never go back. I, um, or you'll buy like 50. So, I use this as like an exfoliator on my chest and back and stuff. It's a little bit too gritty for my face. I have really sensitive skin, but yeah, it's just like... It's such a joy to use. You just have to go in there and smell it. Just smell this. Let the good times roll. You'll thank me later. It is so, so great. It kind of almost foams up a little bit. It becomes a bit milky, but it leaves your skin feeling really soft, moisturized, not stripped. It's so fun. Um, these are a little bit pricier. I think maybe like $20 each or something. Um, $15. I don't know. But for a fun cleanser, I really love those too. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave any comments you have below. I will link a blog post in the description for some more info, and I will see you all later. Bye!